Welcome to the heart of Tequila Land, where the brilliant sunshine of Mexico nourishes vast fields of blue agave. These strong plants, with their sharp spines on the outside but hidden natural sweetness inside, are the precious raw materials used to create the world's renowned tequila that we love. From harvesting, cooking, fermentation to distillation, each step in this process contributes to transforming this plant into a globally famous drink. Tequila is a unique spirit made from sugar extracted from the blue agave plant, the only species out of 136 agave species in Mexico chosen for its delicate flavor and high safety. This plant takes seven years to mature achieving the right sugar content before being harvested. Every day, about 20 tons of agave are transported from the fields to the factory, enough to produce 5,600 bottles of tequila. To deliver the perfect flavor, a massive warehouse with 9,000 American oak barrels is required to soak in the essence. The growing demand from the United States and Japan has turned tequila into a multi-billion dollar industry. To be recognized as authentic tequila, at least 51% of the blue agave must be grown locally near the city of Tequila and be authorized by the Tequila Regulatory Council. The journey of creating tequila starts with planting blue vapor agave on the fertile highlands of Jalisco, Mexico, a picturesque region. These blue agave fields are the soul of every tequila bottle, thriving at altitudes over 1,500 meters on volcanic soil with perfect drainage. The land preparation begins with plowing using a bulldozer, digging 50 to 60 centimeters deep. Then, a tractor with a disc blade smooths the surface to get it ready for planting. Blue agave is typically propagated through shoots, with healthy buds growing around the mother plant. Workers carefully select healthy shoots, trimming the lower leaves while leaving around 10 leaves on top for easier planting. The seedlings are sorted by size, ranging from 9 centimeters to 14 centimeters in diameter. When planting, workers arrange the agave in straight rows, maintaining a 1.5 meter distance between each plant. This is crucial as the tough, spiny leaves can cause difficulties during maintenance and harvesting if not aligned properly. After one year, the workers trim the young shoots to concentrate the nutrients on the core. In the early stages of agave planting, drones assist farmers by spraying herbicides to control weeds, applying fertilizers, and using pesticides to keep the plants healthy. This technology not only increases profits, but also protects the environment by using less water conserving resources. The agave relies on rainwater, and after seven years, it is ready for harvest. Over the centuries, 
Mexican farmers have planted and harvested agave for tequila. After seven years, the plant can exceed to meters in height, and each year, over 300 million agave plants are harvested across the country. The core of the plant, called the pina, is very large, filled with starch, mainly in eulin, a complex carbohydrate, and serves as the primary ingredient in the production process. Planting and harvesting the pina at the right time is a labor-intensive job before they divert energy to flowering. Skilled workers, known as gym doors, are deeply connected to the agave plant through generations. They use a special tool called koa to cut away the sharp leaves around the plant, leaving only the core filled with starch. A skilled gimador can harvest up to 150 penis per day. This process requires expertise and physical strength, as mature blue agave plants can weigh from 40 to 100 kilograms. Over 300 million agave plants are harvested every year, contributing to a multi-billion dollar industry. After the core is removed from the plant, it resembles a giant pineapple. The gemidors cut a small piece of the pina to check its starch content. If it meets the standard, the pina is collected and transported to the factory for further processing. Specially trained mules carry the heavy pinas to waiting trucks. At the Don Julio Distillery in Toto Noco, 20 tons of pina are delivered each day, enough to make 5,600 bottles of tequila. Each pina is marked with information about its place of origin, ensuring the traceability of every tequila bottle. However, due to the large size of the pina, it cannot be processed immediately. Workers must use axes to chop them into smaller, more manageable pieces, removing the top to avoid any bitterness. From here, the pina begins its journey toward becoming perfect tequila. When it enters the factory, the pina is still filled with starch and the next challenge is to convert the starch into sugar. They are placed in giant steam ovens at a temperature of 100 minus 110 degrees Celsius for 79 hours. This process helps convert the starch into simple sugars, creating the distinct sweetness and removing unwanted sap. Each oven can hold 20 tons of pina, and there are 18 ovens running continuously. After cooking, the pina turns from a hard white color to a reddish brown, becoming softer and easier to crush. After cooling for eight hours, the pina is fed into a mill, where it is cut into long fibers. The press extracts the juice from the agave fibers to obtain agave nectar, the main ingredient for fermentation. Even the remaining pulp is washed to ensure no sugar is left behind. Some traditional distilleries still use a method called tahona, a giant volcanic stone wheel, sometimes weighing up to two tons, which slowly rolls over the pina pieces to naturally extract the nectar. The milling process takes two hours to extract all the nectar. It is carefully collected and transferred into large fermentation tanks. Yeast is added to the nectar solution starting a fascinating natural fermentation process. This yeast is not just any ordinary strain, but a secret recipe of Don Julio. In just 30 hours, 
Most of the sugars have been converted into alcohol, and after 72 hours of fermentation, the mixture develops a distinctive sour taste and aroma. According to the Denomination to Origin Tequila Regulations, authentic tequila can only be produced in five states of Mexico. Jalisco, the main producing state, accounting for over 90% of Mexico's tequila production, along with Michoacan, Guanajuato, Nerit, and Tamaulipas. Any beverage made from blue agave but not produced in these five states cannot be called tequila. The fermented liquid is transferred to small copper or stainless steel stills. Here, the fermented liquid undergoes a distillation process where the alcohol evaporates and condenses into a higher proof liquid. Traditional tequila is distilled twice. However, this liquid is too strong for immediate consumption, so water is added to reduce the alcohol content to 40%. After distillation, the tequila is transferred to aging warehouses. Here, there are 9,000 American oak barrels where the tequila ages for anywhere between two months to five years. During the aging process, the tequila absorbs flavors from the oak, creating a complex aroma and flavor profile. Some tequilas are aged briefly to retain their fresh flavor while higher-end varieties are aged longer to develop deeper layers of flavor. When the tequila reaches perfection, it is transferred to the bottling line. The empty bottles are washed with tequila to ensure there are no impurities. Every day, 15,000 bottles of tequila are bottled. A final quality check is performed, and each bottle is numbered to ensure traceability. This distillery produces 420,000 barrels of tequila every year, which is exported to over 40 countries. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel to continue exploring more exciting content.